Molly Pitcher was in the heat of battle, taking water to her artilleryman husband. When he was killed, with true Patriot spirit, she took his place and kept his cannon blasting at the Redcoats. It's an iconic event, a great story, but it likely never happened. So how did the legend come about? Most likely, it started with the memoir of Patriot soldier Joseph Plum Martin. He says that there was a woman at the Battle of Monmouth who helped her artilleryman husband throughout. The woman was nearly killed when a British cannonball passed between her legs. Some believe this woman was Mary Hayes, whom we know served at the Battle of Monmouth. But Mary nursed injured soldiers. There's no record of her firing cannons. Even so, after Mary's death, the Molly Pitcher story got attached to her name. And in 1871, they even put up a new headstone above Mary's grave to commemorate Molly Pitcher, the heroine of Monmouth. But if anyone can claim to be the real Molly, it has to be Margaret Corbin. She wasn't at the Battle of Monmouth, but she was the wife of an artilleryman. And when he was wounded defending Fort Washington in 1776, she took over the loading and firing of the cannon until she herself was hurt. In 1779, she was granted a lifetime military pension, the first woman to receive one in US history. And in certain records, she's referred to as Captain Molly. So the name Molly probably originates with Margaret Corbin. Pitcher, meanwhile, probably comes from the women who carried water to their husbands in pitchers during battle. Over time, both Mary Hayes and Margaret Corbin's stories became confused and got wrapped up in the Molly Pitcher legend. While it might not be 100% true, the Molly Pitcher story is important as it serves as a reminder of women's vital role in the armies of both sides, serving as nurses, cooks, and washerwomen. And every so often, women like Margaret Corbin would even step up and serve in battle. <laughs> 